everyone. So this is just a quick video. I just wanted to talk about um, a rare, because I have a rare opportunity here to actually share with you uh, two paintings that are in the exact same stage of development, but I've used two different color blues for the blue glaze part of the underpainting in the Miche technique. So right here, I have this painting, uh, which has um, uh, the blue glaze with ultramarine mixed with some white. So you really get that kind of gorgeous violet color the ultramarine uh, can get um, with the white mixed in, right? It's this really uh, luscious blue violet that's almost an indescribable color. And the reason I did it with this is because uh, the lighting is going to be moonlight. And so this already looks like moonlight, doesn't it? You know, so I can, I can really use the stage of the blue glaze to uh, really get the proper lighting effect that I'm looking for. And now I have also this painting and you, I just bring it up and you can see how different this is. So this is with my regular uh, radiant turquoise that I often use. Um, I have a video about that uh, just before this one. And so the radiant turquoise gives a really lovely, bright, sunny color. So you can see the difference, right? And you can see how the yellow in both of these is exactly the same. It's Indian yellow. And uh, you can see how it comes through in this one in, in almost a green way. And on um, this one, it comes through almost orange. Uh, you know, so you're really getting a different quality of what the yellow and even what the red looks like underneath just by the difference in what the blue glaze looks like. So there you go. You can really see both of them together. And so this is going to be uh, more in broad daylight. So I am uh, utilizing the radiant turquoise, that the, what the quality is of the radiant turquoise uh, to give me that final lighting effect, just as I am utilizing the quality of the ultramarine here to give me the final lighting effect for this painting. So this is just a really cool, helpful tip for um, selecting the blue for your blue glaze because it's gonna really affect your end result. And you can make a conscious decision on how that uh, how that is going to be your final product. You know, is it going to be nighttime? Is it going to be daytime? And this is just two different blues, right? Like there are lots of different blues you could use. A Prussian blue is going to give you a different uh, lighting effect than indigo. And of course, you would mix white with both the Prussian blue and the indigo. So you get, um, you always want it to be a very pale blue, a light blue. You always want to mix white with it, unless it's this radiant turquoise, which already has quite a lot of white mixed into it anyway. Um, so, you know, here's to just making, uh, more, more available to you in your, uh, toolkit, uh, of this glaze, this glazing process, because while it seems very simple, you know, you're only using red, you're using yellow and you're using the blue. Um, there's quite a lot of variation, even just in this structure that you're maintaining and, quite a lot of difference between um, just how your blue glaze works for your final product. So I'm excited to take both of these to the next phase. The next stage is of course one more uh, layer of the white, either egg tempera or casein, whatever you're using. And the white is going to just go on those final highlights uh, just to kind of bring this out. And again, you do this blue glaze because you are um, trying to create optical grays and those grays are going to be the underpainting for when you do the color, the final color, uh, which is pretty close to being next. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much.